Breaking news. Labour Party vows to challenge a leisure result in, in the court. Alleges irregularities in Lagos, Kaduna, and others. The party in a statement issued on Sunday in Kaduna State alleged that most of its members were deliberately disenfranchised through various means across the country, but were prevalent in its stronghold. Hmm. If you even go court self, who be the courts? Not be still the same them. <laughs> evil is evil. That is it. Some people, evil, they just be evil on their own. There is no how you can change them. Because they're born evil itself. With what is going on, it's a shame that we are experiencing this in Nigeria. What is going on? So many uh, polling units, talks, do not allow them to vote. Look at what is going on in Lagos. I was surprised to see a, 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 a news. Uh, APC said Labour Party and PDP, you know, we are using talks and all that and all that. Honestly speaking, what is going on here? And uh, you will hear Labour Party supporters they are they, they don't want us to vote to so we uh, obedient uh, you know supporters obedient ob Peter Obi supporters they are driving us they are beating us they have scattered our uh, polling units they bought in fact all these things happened in Lagos what of the one that happened in Port Court? that one said the Shua the governor of Port Court was in the, the, the governor of River State was there you understand and they called him out the one when we they hear voice, when somebody they talk say, if you not say you be Igbo person, you get seven head. Come vote for APC. Make I hear you or make I see you for here. And there, police stay there. They look. Police stay there. Not be say police not there. And the police they look. When did they make that threat? Police they look him. When he talk him. You know, feel caution and say, what are you saying? He day there, the buga, any person, come. He say, you, will not, you, you won't vote for another party for here. Come, make I see you. Because they know that they don't, they, in fact, they not will feel win. So they decided to use all means of violence just to scare people away. And that is exactly what they did. That one was not enough. The result, the result that was that that, that people we are showing us. In fact, everybody, people, Nigerians tried. I love what happened. People voted and they wait. They waited until the 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 the, the votes ended, and the, the, this results this results they counted it before they left, and today they are telling us stories. They are telling our stories. This is Nigeria for you. Nigeria not they happen to a person. Is it a cause that we are Nigerians? The Labour Party has vowed to challenge the results of the Saturday's presidential and National Assembly elections, fighting the process of collating the results by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, saying it will challenge the outcome in court. The party, in a statement issued on Sunday in Kaduna State, alleged that most of its members were deliberately disenfranchised through various means across the country, but were prevalent in its stronghold. In the statement signed by the National Secretary, Halaji Omar Ibrahim, said, while the party made inroads with high votes in most parts of northern Nigeria, Labour Party members were deliberately prevented from voting, chased away violently from polling units, or had ballot papers and buses destroyed and burnt in other vanguard in others, Vanguard quoted him to have said. He cited Lagos, Rivers, Bayasa, Kano, Yubi, and Edo states, among others, where such acts were rampantly perpetrated in violation of the Electoral Act 2022 as amended. 
Omar said in some places. INEC staff and electoral materials were not deployed to the areas that are known to be strongholds of Labour Party or deployed late to frustrate the party supporters who psychologically got tired of waiting and had to leave the polling unit for the fear of the unknown. The delay by INEC to upload and announce results, especially where Labour Party is already known to have taken lead, is also worrisome and we feel it is a deliberate it's deliberate so to anger our party and our supporters, he said. Ma also alleged that intelligence from the feed reviewed that across the northern states, electorate identified as Labour Party supporters were tactically denied access to their polling units by some officials who connive with other to confuse the electorate by insisting their polling units are different and sending them to the wrong ones. He said this frustrated the electorate and reduced the vote pulled by Labour Party, which would have more than doubled if the right things were done. Labour Party called on INEC to checkmate and called its pulling staff to order and also ensure punitive measures in line with the Electoral Act 2022 as amended. The Labour Party National Secretary assured that the party would definitely challenge the outcome and the final result in court. He, however, called on the party members and supporters to be calm, remain law-abiding, but be encouraged with their efforts so far and mobilize even more for the next round of elections as the party takes steps to the right, to right the wrong meted out to her in the Saturday presidential and national assembly elections. It was really very unfortunate. I think PDP and APC said Labour Party, Labour Party have no structure. They cannot win election, this and this and that. You never get anything when they don't when they not talk. And the same people when Una talk say they don't feel win election, now you know they pursue. They go, they use talks, they scatter weird and they and all that. It's, it's so so very unfortunate. I'm dropping it here, guys. Can they